So will there be a war tonight? President Joe Biden is considering his options to respond to a possible Russian invasion of Ukraine. And Pope Francis wants the world to ask God for help. White House correspondent Owen Jensen begins our coverage tonight. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. The Pentagon has proposed a range of options for President Joe Biden. And come this Wednesday, Pope Francis, the leader of the world's Catholics, is asking for prayers to keep war from breaking out. As President Joe Biden arrived back at the White House this morning, there was no easing of tensions between Russia and the West over Ukraine. Pope Francis tweeting his fears over possible war while urging Wednesday, 26 January, be a day of prayer for peace. And in the White House press briefing room today, okay. concerns mounting over what happens next. And we have a sacred obligation to support the security of our eastern flank countries. I think it's important to remember who the aggressor is here. It is not the United States. It is not these eastern flank countries. Uh, it is Russia. Just this past weekend, the White House releasing this photo, President Biden meeting with his national security team at Camp David. One option being floated, the president could reinforce U.S. military presence in Eastern Europe and the Baltics to demonstrate American commitment. The United States did just ship another load of lethal weapons and ammunition to Ukraine to help the country ward off another possible invasion from Russia. If a single additional Russian force goes into Ukraine, uh, in an aggressive way, uh, as I said, that would trigger uh, a swift, a severe, and a united response uh, from us uh, and from Europe. And NATO is bolstering its deterrence in the Baltic Sea region, including sending fighter jets and ships. And when it comes to imposing sanctions, both Lithuania and Denmark weighed in on that. We need to really uh, be true to our words when we say that the sanctions will be unbearable. They have to be unbearable, and that's the only uh, uh, deterrent. There's no doubt we are ready to react forcefully with comprehensive uh, sanctions never seen before. A senior U.S. official says the State Department has authorized the departure of some U.S. government employees and ordered the departure of all family members of U.S. government employees at the U.S. Embassy in Kiev. And we're learning tonight the Pentagon says up to 8,500 U.S. troops are on heightened alert. So they'll be prepared to deploy if needed. No decision has yet been made. Also today, the White House says President Biden held a secure video call with European leaders and allies. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.